Good day everybody, today we are shooting double distillation process on a distiller Stillman X. We already done first distillation, you can have a look on YouTube about first distillation of mesh, it is already available. We have everything for this distillation, we have low wines, boiler and distiller and today we are making neutral spirits by using SPP, which is included with this distiller. SPP is 3.5 by 3.5, so it's small, we have large surface so it's gonna be really high proof and yes firstly we need to assemble our distiller well firstly we need to pour uh, our low wines to the boiler get to know how much alcohol we have and then we assemble all still together it is very important because a lot of people are asking about video where we can assemble this still part by part so uh, anyone who doesn't know anything about distillation process can understand from the beginnings. So let's start. So we have about 11 liters of uh, low wines and let's get to know how much alcohol we have inside. I think we're having about 50%. Yep. We're having about 80, oh, 48, 49 ABV. So we can add some water. So we add a little bit of water just to make it 40% ABV. So firstly we need to install our lid, clamp for the boiler. Here we have a lock which is, can be regulated, I already done it. So next step is extension, it is very important because we need to add enough SPP. Here we have an extension from the one and we have a roll of stainless steel mesh which is, has to be during this process because it's gonna be like a plaque for the SPP to not not to fall down from this side. So over here we need to pour uh, all SPP from the end to the top. So we have a special device just to be comfortable. And a little bit more on the top. Do not drop them on the floor if you uh, do it in the house because it's like a small stainless steel spiral which is bended. So if you step on this spring it will be really really painful. So we filled our SPP and now we need to install our extension on the boiler. Over here we can install thermometer and screw and screw it down and it's going to be sealed. And another thermometer is going to extension Yep, over here. Yeah, so we can see temperature right in the packing. 
Then we need to install our uh, vapor and liquid management unit, which is in my hand. Same as always, gasket, unit, and a clamp lock. Then we need to be sure that everything is sealed, everything is finally installed. Then we need to close the ball valve, which is for the vapor management. And on the top we have, last but not least, which is spiral deflagmator, which is really, really good and can work up to 4 kilowatts. Same as always, gasket and a deflagmator. On this side we need to install our... So condenser as always has to be installed like this. Coil part of the condenser has to be uh, just under the this adapter. product adapter, product collection adapter with the side glass on the end of the shotgun part of the condenser. Yeah, so our steel is assembled and let's talk about water management where we have to put all our hoses for the water. So inlet is always in this tube. So inlet for the water over here from this uh, connection we need to put our silicone jumper to the deflagmator. So the upper tube, which we have, we have two tubes on the top as you can see, uh, also you can uh, open up user manual, which is in English, we have it and we send it as we sell you this distiller. We don't put any user manuals in the box, uh, just to be aware from the customs. So this tube, which is a bit higher, has to be inlet for the water and which is down, it's outlet for the water. So jumper goes, goes from the upper fitting from the condenser to this upper uh, fitting on the deflagmator and this is going to be outlet uh, to the waste <laughs> canalization so как канализация по английски забыл So right now we can start up our heating regulator. Our distiller is fully assembled. Assembled. <laughs> so we use maximum power as we can, but I will use only three kilowatt just to heat it up. There's a lot of alcohol, 40% of ABV, so it's gonna be really, really fast. And also there's only like, uh, 13, yeah, 13, uh, 14, 14 liters. So as the temperature rises up to 60%, we turn the water on. 
and right now we need just wait. So we need to take off 400 milliliters of heads. This amount we has calculated on the app just a few minutes ago. You can calculate also in this app. This is a Russian app where you can uh, change the Russian to the English. Uh, in the settings and use it. It's very, very comfortable just for moonshining. Also, you can um, understand uh, how need, how much heads or and how much of absolute spirit you have in a boiler by formula, which is provided in a user manual, which is uh, which goes uh, in with every distiller we sell uh, worldwide or any. Uh, country or in Russia there's absolutely no problem or you can have a look on our website also our English website is getting ready and ready we have translated a lot of units so you can have a look over there get to know uh, our parts in a normal English <laughs> yeah I hope you understand that a lot if you find a mistake please feel free to contact us and uh, ask about uh, can you translate this uh, unit this is very interesting for me Feel free to contact us. So right now we are just waiting and when we get to the temperature about 70 degrees in a boiler and our extension is going to be uh, more and more warmer, we get uh, power, we need to decrease power down to uh, 1 kilowatt and uh, 500. So it's going to be 15 uh, hundreds of watts. That's pretty much it, and let's wait for that. So reflux has started, and we decrease our power down to one and a half kilowatt. So as you can see, in the beginning, all our valves are closed. Vapor management and liquid management all closed. And as you can see, reflux is going on. So in the beginning temperature in the extension is going to be really high then it's going to be more stable and stable and it's better to wait about 15 minutes to uh, stabilize column and then we need to open needle valve just to cut all heads. So right now our column is stable temperature is an extension 77.0 so it's stable and it's absolutely fine uh, temperature and an extension can be different every time it's uh, every time different because of uh, atmospheric pressure so right now we need to take off our heads and we need to adjust our liquid management unit and get about uh, one or three drops per second depending on your needs so depending how you want it i do usually two or three drops per second so we need to open the needle valve just a little bit and get to know where we need to stop so we open the needle valve and we can look down to this product collection adapter so uh, liquid now uh, tra travels down to this condenser and we need to wait just a few seconds to whoop yeah as you can see drops are going so as you can see there's a lot of them and we need to decrease down to two three drops per second and on the end of the hose you can see drops as well so as you can see there's a lot of them it's more than five per second so it's too fast few minutes for adjusting and you will be fine why are we using needle valve for the cutting of heads when we are using SPP it's absolutely fine and better to use uh, liquid management because it's a little bit more clear so when we are interested in getting high proof ABV alcohol neutral spirits it's better to use SPP and liquid management because it's better for better performance and uh, better 
kind of uh, alcohol <laughs> so it's going to be a little bit clear depend if we uh, compare this type to the uh, vapor management but if you have not stable power it's better to use this uh, well ball valve for the vapor management because it will be adjusting up to your power we have stable uh, power we have stable regulator it's 15 uh, hundred watts so it's really really good and uh, we are working with liquid management and after the heads we're gonna have speed with uh, one liter point so it's gonna be a liter and 100 milliliters an hour and it's pretty good for the this uh, small type of this still you can increase this amount of alcohol uh, by uh, adding by adding another extension if you add another extension and add same SPP you can get up to 1500 uh, mils per hour but if you change SPP to pi 5 point uh, no, no, 5 by 5 and increase power up to 2300 watts you can get up to oh let me remember two liters an hour yeah about and it's gonna be 96 ABV it's gonna be really high proof no flavor no taste neutral spirit for the gin for the uh, kind of alcohol you need so that's very very easy setup we don't need to do anything right now we just uh, adjust speed of uh, our heads just find the uh, position of the needle valve and uh, get all the heads you need. We have small amount of low wines, that's why there's gonna be only 400 mils of four shorts and heads. Yep, so let's wait for a few hours and we'll be finished with the heads. So, we took off all our heads and we are ready to collect hearts. Let's change the jar. This is a 2 liter jar. Our heads and four shorts. Close this bottle and mark it as poison <laughs> and right now we need to adjust uh, speed of the liquid for 1.1 liter we need about uh, 1 to 1.1 liter per hour uh, if we are looking into highest proof it's gonna be about 96 96.3 of ABV so if you want to be uh, lower so if you want to have lower amount of ABV about 95 percent uh, you can uh, get more uh, product per hour I mean it's gonna be about a uh, liter and a half per hour but if you're looking into highest proof it's better to have 1.1 liter per hour with the power of uh, 1500 watts so let's adjust. Uh, we need about 18.5 mils per minute. And it's gonna be uh, speed for the uh, hearts of uh, on the all for the process of all distillation. Mm -hmm. As you can see over here, there's a lot of drops, so we need to increase a little bit more. You need to be really careful with this needle valves because uh, you need to turn it just a little bit just a little bit like a few millimeters yeah and we can measure by this cylinder so we need to use our speed meter <laughs> speed meter <laughs> time meter I mean yep let's take like this So we have 18 milliliters per minute, so it's gonna be about a liter point one per hour. 
Also, you need to be sure that your column is stable. So you're gonna look into this temperature, which is, has to be uh, same on the whole process of distillation uh, of your hearts. So it is 77.1 and it's gonna be uh, like this or just uh, one uh, point higher or lower and that's gonna be fine and uh, after we collect enough we uh, check the ABV of our final product So let's check the ABV of our product. It's absolutely cold, about 20 degrees Celsius. In Russian videos, we usually uh, show the temperature of the, our product just to be sure. So, as you can see over here, so as you can see, it's 96 97 ABV. Good result as usual on the steel with this packing. So the process is almost finished. As you can see down there, we have uh, we have collected two jars, every each one for two liters. So well, we have collected four liters, and I already changed the jar for the tails. Uh, why I did that? Because temperature in a boiler has been rising up to how much is there? 93 degrees, yes. So there's already 93 degrees and I cannot uh, distill even higher because I feel differences in taste. We make neutral spirits, so we don't need any taste, any flavors. So our alcohol has to be really clear and high proof and tasty. Uh, and also you can control temperature in the extension and when you then when the temperature rises uh, higher than your stable parameter you need to finish the distillation close the needle valve and uh, be ready to understand what's going on in your column maybe you have too much power maybe needle valve is too open and you need to close it or you have less than uh, 20 percent alcohol in your boiler so do understand what's going on by looking at the temperature. You also can uh, control your distiller by looking to this temperature and finish this when, when this temperature rises really, really high. But we don't really recommend doing so. It's better to finish distillation early uh, when the temperature rises in a boiler and get tails, uh, but only if you need really high proof, uh, really clear alcohol. If you're looking for like flavor or taste, it's better to use vapor management and uh, get more tails to your uh, product, fi final product, because where the taste, uh, it is located in tails, <laughs> unfortunately. And there's also no need to use SPP for uh, tasty and flavor drinks like uh, if you're doing if you're making uh, Calvados brandy or s other stuff it's better to use uh, Cooper mash which also included in the kit of this distiller and then in next video we're gonna use all this stuff we're gonna use vapor management uh, Cooper mash inside this extension and uh, we will get some more taste and flavor from a uh, really nice uh, final product which is going to be made from i think we will use uh, wine mesh yes wine wash which is will be from uh, white 
grape, yeah, really, really good quality white grape we have in Russia, and uh, cost is pretty good. So that's it for now. Uh, right now, I just need to uh, close the needle valve to finish the distillation, turn off the power, and turn off the water, and it's gonna be the f finish. Uh, also, I can get more tails and make uh, triple distillation when I collect a lot of tails and use that alcohol for any other uh, useful things. Uh, there's a lot of ways how you can distill and you, how you can get your final product. I hope you like this video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. We can send you an English uh, translation uh, of uh, user manual, which is already uh, in stock. So you can read it and maybe find more info uh, from uh, that. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Feel free to contact us, write in the comment, uh, write us at Gmail. Also, you can subscribe to our Instagram, Dr. Gradus, and also my Instagram, which is really special for English international uh, buyers. I speak there only English and make only English small videos. Thank you for watching. Happy distilling.